hello, it's Santa Claus. Oh my, oh my, Christmas is right around the corner. Well, in just a few days, the sleigh will be packed, and I will be on my way to deliver presents to all the good girls and boys all across the world. Oh, I do hope you are trying your very best to be good. The elves have been working so hard to make all the final presents. Mrs. Claus gave me an updated count, and there are only 39,422 presents left to make. Well, considering the millions that have already been finished, I'd say we are in very, very good shape. Well, Mrs. Claus and the elves have never let us down, and they won't this Christmas either. You know, I was thinking today about some of the wonderful sounds of the Christmas season. Well, sounds like Christmas carolers singing songs, the crackle from the fireplace. Oh, and there's one other sound that comes to mind. Bells. Well, that was the sound of sleigh bells, which are so often associated with Christmas. Now, I do have sleigh bells on my sleigh, which I only use when I am very high over homes to alert airplanes and birds that my sleigh is near. I silence those bells whenever we are over homes or buildings. And do you know why? Because how would children sleep through the sound of sleigh bells ringing outside of their window? Oh, and here's another bell sound you may think of around Christmas time, as well as many other times across the year. Well, that is the sound of church bells. Bells have been associated with calling people together for hundreds and hundreds of years. Remember, this was way before the invention of telephones. So the ringing of church bells was a way to call people spread all over neighborhoods and towns for important and special occasions. And Christmas is certainly both important and special. Well, there's another type of bell that is associated with Christmas, the handbell. The handbell sounds like this. Now, the handbell was invented by a pair of brothers, Robert and William Corr, in England more than 400 years ago. Now, handbells sound very nice on their own, but when you put several together, oh, it sounds absolutely wonderful. Well, like this. Long ago, handbells were an easy instrument for Christmas carolers to take with them as they traveled door to door singing to their neighbors. I wonder, have you ever seen any Christmas carolers? It is such a fun way to spread Christmas cheer. Now, over the years, bells have certainly been well connected to Christmas songs. Well, can you think of any songs that have the word bell in them? But how about silver bells? Or carol of the bells? Oh, but there is another song that I bet you know that has the word bells in it. Can you think of it? Jingle Bells did you know that Jingle Bells was not originally written as a Christmas song? Well, that's right. It was written as a song for the Thanksgiving season. Well, Thanksgiving is a holiday celebrated in November in the United States. Well, there aren't many Thanksgiving songs, and with its winter theme, it didn't take long at all for Jingle Bells to become associated with Christmas. 
And it is a lovely song, so I am so glad that it did. And did you know Jingle Bells was the first song to be played in outer space? That's right. A pair of astronauts played the song during a space mission all the way back in 1965. They joked that they saw a sleigh in outer space, but that's much higher than my sleigh could ever fly. And we'd never be able to find spacesuits and helmets that would fit the reindeer. <laughs> now, I think this has been a record-breaking year for letters here in the North Pole. This morning, the mail carrier here in the North Pole delivered 13 sackfuls of letters. Thirteen. I simply do not believe it. But I am reading each and every one of them. Why, that is without a doubt my favorite thing to do. Of course, I love seeing your gift requests, but more than that, I love hearing from you and seeing all the kindness that you are showing to others. I do love when you think to ask about me or Mrs. Claus or the elves or the reindeer. That is so very, very kind. But I do wish that I could thank each and every one of you who has sent me a letter, but that would take hours and hours and hours. But I do want to thank each of you who has sent me a letter, and for you to know this. I have read it, and I am so happy that you took the time to think of me. But I do have this small stack of letters in my hand right now, so let me say a quick thank you to Bobby, who was so kind to include his baby sister Paisley in his letter. Oh, and to Kiturri, who asked for world peace and happiness for my family. That is so very kind of you. Also, thank you to Samantha, who would like LOL surprise dolls, and to Milo, Jasmine, Phoebe, Jacob, and to all of you who have written me in recent days. Now, I must get back to helping Mrs. Claus and the elves with all those presents. 39,422 left to go. Will one of them be yours? That I cannot say. But I'll be back again to speak with you tomorrow. And until then... Do be kind to others, and not because of my list, but because it is the right thing to do. Ho, 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 ho.